very much uh, for all the support, though, you guys. An absolutely unforgettable time. And I'm really glad I'm here. I don't really know. I mean, I kind of know what I'd be doing, but I kind of don't want to think about it. I think I'd still be trying, though. I have to be straight with you. I think I'd still be trying to make it work. To make the dream work. Uh, I don't think I would have given up by now. But I think I'd be in a bit of a sad situation considering how things have turned out um, with the world and whatnot uh, in terms of I really can't... Live shows just kind of aren't happening. That was where I had a lot of my livelihood, where I had some of my best times connected with close friends and whatnot. Um, it was at those shows. They just kind of stopped happening. Um, and they were a big part of what I did before. So I think I'd be really sad. I'd be um, in a really, really sad place in my life. I'm glad that Holo came into my life because um, I feel like I didn't have to experience that feeling like I couldn't do anything and like nothing was happening and like the world that I had loved uh, had disappeared and would never come back ever again kind of thing because I've been able to focus on my on my career streaming and it's just been a blessing, you know? I have a lot of a lot of friends from that time as well that I kind of miss. Some folks that I don't talk to anymore, etc. And a lot of folks that I kind of just stopped being friends with as well, which is sad to say when you say it out loud, I guess. You guys, any of you guys have friends that like you just don't really talk to anymore and you feel like maybe you uh, like aren't friends anymore because you just don't talk? I've also had a couple friendships just straight up end. I know the feeling all too well. Yeah, it happens. Yeah. All the time, girl. <laughs> See, I knew I wasn't the only one. <laughs> I knew I wasn't the only one somehow. I, I had the feeling. I had the feeling. Um, well, I'm, I'm glad to hear I'm not the only one that's been through that. Um, I've definitely had friends that I just stopped talking to, right? Um, friends that I know would maybe have wanted to contact me after all this popped off, but, but didn't. Um... Probably for various reasons, but... I also had some friendships go sour in the past. Yeah. It was interesting because before Holomyth, I actually feel like, uh... I had, like... A super selfish side to being friends with people. I had a lot of friendships end because... I was a selfish person, but I also befriended people with selfish streaks as well. And all we ever did was ask things of each other. Yeah. So it just kind of ended poorly. Um, after that all went south, um, I kind of learned my lesson in a way, and ever since then, I always try my best to offer help to the Myth Girls. Because, yeah, I don't want that to happen again, I guess. Kind of got deep all of a sudden, excuse me. But, um, I try to be more giving uh, as a friend because friendship is is give and take, and I think they really taught me, uh, to be less selfish. So yeah, a lot of people have come and gone in the past like that, because I was kind of like that. Yeah. But you know, to those people, if they ever happen to see this, um, I'm not gonna be all bitter and weird about it, and I guess I'd just like to say, hope you're doing well, old friend. And, uh, sorry things ended the way they did. I just learned a lot, uh, from Holo Myth. They really changed me, uh, for the better. I gotta say. I wanna be a better person because of them. I wanna become better. I really do. And I feel like because of them, I could be. I learned a lot about, about not being in selfish friendships. <laughs> Especially from my side, just asking from other people. Cause it's been fun to help out my Kohai as well. To be able to offer myself to be useful to them. It's just a good feeling, you know? Yeah. I'm just happy. I'm really overwhelmed, and that's how I know this is like the best thing that could have happened, you know? Really, truly, this is maybe the best thing that ever happened to me.